what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i just made one i know i just uploaded one but i had to come back because 3c films dropped a video where he did give me a shout out so i do appreciate you for that uh big shout out to you as well love your content love when you upload and i appreciate you giving me credit for alerting you of the news that you put out regarding that new Scream 5 video you did. Uh, I recently just put one up talking about Gail Weathers and Courtney Cox and the whole whole thing with that Production Weekly-esque link or leak that has come out with several different things on it that indicate that Courtney Cox will be back to return as Gail Weathers. As we know, the only official cast member that we know as of yet to be officially on board with this new Scream 5 that's being brought to us by Radio Silence who did Ready or Not. The only person who's been brought back on officially that's been announced to the public is David Arquette. That does not mean that no one else is involved with this project as of yet. David Arquette is the only person that's been announced. And I feel like they're doing this on purpose because, again, we're very, we're, we're living in a very fluid life. We're living a very fluid life right now where everything is always changing due to the outbreak going on. Uh, hopefully it's cleared up in the coming months, but it looks like it's just getting worse by the day uh a lot of the things of course in my honest opinion are a little bit we're, we're overreacting with some of the measures we're taking that's just how i feel honestly everyone can stay safe and take the necessary precautions but the things that we're damaging in the process of this i don't think it's worth it it's not worth everything that we're doing but getting into the topic of the video uh 3c films did bring up a good point in his video he mentioned that the working title for screen 5 according to this production weekly listing is that uh, Alpha, I, I believe it was called like Alpha something, something with Alpha in it. It's like uh, Project or Parkside Alpha. Parkside Alpha is the working title for Scream 5. And if you type that in on Google, if you want to do some digging like he did, he did some digging. He typed in Parkside Alpha on Google and it comes up with a Vimeo link that will take you to audition tapes for Scream 5 that seem to have been dated all the way back to a couple months ago in March. And these videos are, yes, three months old. The one, the one videos that he, the videos that he pointed out that he found was one for Jocelyn, Jocelyn Hudon, a uh, Parkside Alpha audition video for Jocelyn Hudon. That's an actress, an up and coming actress, I believe. If you look her up on IMDb, you've seen that she's been in several movies that a lot of you are probably familiar with that have come out in the past couple of years. But she has an audition up on Vimeo for Parkside Alpha, aka Screen 5. She auditioned for the role of Teresa. Now, this is a character that apparently will be in Screen 5. So we're already knowing some some character names now. This is what happens when you do digging. We're finding out things that we probably should wait to just be surprised for. But the lack of information is killing killing us and killing other fans so i appreciate 3c for doing digging but yes if you then if you google parkside alpha the working title of screen 5 on google it'll take you to a vimeo link or if you type in parkside alpha vimeo on google it'll come up with a search result for jocelyn hudon parkside alpha aka screen 5 audition video for she's auditioning to portray a character named Teresa, who will be appearing in screen 5 we would assume and then also do some more digging You'll find that a gentleman by the name of Barrett Carnahan, he has an audition up for Parkside Alpha, but his is more like just an introduction, a short clip where he's introducing who he is, and he, I believe he states his height and his weight. Uh, and it says that he's auditioning for Parkside Alpha, and the name Ryan is in the video. So we now know that we might have two characters in the movie Screen 5 named uh, Teresa and Ryan. These were brought to brought to the attention uh, of the public and other horror fans by 3C Films. Again, shout out to him. His video sparked me to do a little bit more digging. I did manage to find something that he did not bring up. So we know we have two members so far that could possibly be on board in the cast. We have uh, Jocelyn Hudon, who could be casted to portray a character named Teresa. And we also have Barrett, Barrett Carnahan, who could be on board to portray the character of someone named ryan doing some more digging i came across another audition video for parkside alpha which again is the working title for screen five it's on vimeo for someone named iana haley uh, a young looks like a very young actress named iana haley she looks like she's poor and then from what what some of my other um supporters on twitter some of the other people i've engaged with on twitter uh 
they managed to do digging into that video she's playing a character or she was auditioning to portray a character of annie now that's three characters now that we know not even three i can list six characters now that we know for a fact we are expecting to see in screen five based off of these audition tapes and thanks to this leak that came out from production weekly so we can expect to see uh nev campbell return to sydney prescott that again is not officially announced the only one who's been officially announced so far is david arquette but according to this production production weekly listing nev campbell and courtney cox will be officially back they just haven't been announced yet the same way david has we can expect to see in screen five nev, nev campbell return as as sydney prescott david arquette back as dewey riley courtney cox will in fact it, it appears she'll be back as gail weathers Iana Haley, who auditioned for Screen 5, could appear as a character named Annie. Uh, Jocelyn Hudon, who again auditioned for Screen 5 under the working title of Parkside Alpha. She could be appearing in the movie as a character named Teresa. And then we have Barrett Carnahan, who again is a person who auditioned for Screen 5 under the working title of Parkside Alpha, it would appear. He could be appearing in Screen 5 as a character named Ryan. Now that's six different characters that we know and six potential cast members that we now know could be involved with this project. Uh, again, 3C is the reason why I did some more digging, so I really appreciate him in that video he put out. It looks like these are some people we could be looking to have in the project. The reason this is something a lot of people should be very uh, trust, should trust and take this as 100% reliable. Vimeo is a website where you can find audition tapes for quite a few projects if you do the right digging and you put in the right search terms and you know some working titles uh, for a lot of movies, you'll find some audition tapes on Vimeo. I know for a fact anyone who is a fan of my Jeepers Creepers content and the videos I do for Jeepers Creepers, if you guys have been digging and digging and digging around the time when Jeepers Creepers 3 was still in active development, You'll know that we came across the fact that Jeepers Creepers 3 would be, the, would be a prequel before it was announced to us thanks to Vimeo and also thanks to the Shout Factory collector's editions of the first two films. Before Jeepers Creepers 3 even entered into production, there were already scenes that audience members and fans alike already knew to expect because if you went on Vimeo and you typed in Jeepers Creepers 3, you could find audition tapes for certain actors and actresses trying to uh, audition for a role in the movie. Uh, thankfully, the ones for Screen 5 are password protected, so you can't even look at these videos. They're actually private, unless you know the password to look at them. Uh, this, stuff, this stuff is legit, it's legit. These are potential cast members who could have gotten the role to portray characters named Annie, Teresa, and Ryan. Uh, they could be three people joining our three main stars who are also confirmed to be returning. They just haven't been officially announced just yet. So it looks like for all intents and purposes, we now know at least three brand new characters to expect to see in Screen 5. Um, I look forward to seeing what comes out of this. I look forward to seeing how this all plays out in the coming weeks because according to the listing from Production Weekly, it says a status of mid-October. Now, I know reports came out about Paramount Pictures being the one to distribute this movie in 2021. That's when they're looking to put it out. And it did mention something about filming later this summer. So if October, mid-October is still late summer to these people, then whatever. But that's the fall time, in my opinion, if I'm not mistaken. That's that's fall. So this listing might be very old and it just hasn't been updated to uh, account for the fact that they're now planning to shoot later this summer. But I just want to make that video and bring that to a lot of people's attention. I would find this to be 100% legit. Do believe this stuff. Believe this. And if you're a fan of Jeepers Creepers, you know what I'm talking about. There are or there were audition tapes of Jeepers Creepers 3 on Vimeo.com, the same place where these audition tapes for Screen 5 are. But since these audition tapes for Jeepers Creepers 3 were not password protected, several scenes were already uh, known by certain individuals such as myself who did some digging. We knew certain characters that would be appearing and we knew that this movie would be taking place in between the first and second film based off of some of the dialogue that these audition tapes featured so i'm really excited about this glad we now have some tidbits of information that we're digging for and people like myself and 3c are bringing to the light uh so really another big shout out to him for shouting me out uh, i do appreciate you and i do love your videos i love all of your content <laughs>
But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.